often the spontaneous self-release is recognized in very afflictive states. Now I'll tell you why that's good. It is incredibly powerful to really realize in your bones instinctively that you're okay no matter what's coming down. So you see some people have a lot of thoughts, the other one will have a lot of emotions, that one over there, lots and lots of sensations. So usually it's different for different people. But whatever it is, the remedy is the same. The medicine is the same. So you see, uh, there isn't any preferential clarity, you could say. You are who you are, and you, wear, you are where you are. And wherever you go, there you are. So you see, these points of view then naturally slide into being outshown by clarity itself. The focus isn't on the points of view anymore at all. The great spread has taken over. The space invaders. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> thank you to the few of you who got my job. <laughs> Sometimes they're pretty obscure. <laughs> but um, the, the vast expansiveness of our own condition is native to us. It is native to us. So, you know, it can't be taken away, and we can't be taken out of it. So really, to relax and leave everything as it is, is where it's at. And uh, whatever your particular points of view are, you could say that they are wholly supreme states. That is the truth of it. Initially, when we are introduced to clarity, maybe we don't like our points of view. We don't like the points of view we have. And we want to do something about them. Like, we don't want to have any afflictive states. And so to hear that the, that the points of view, the very afflictive points of view, are actually coincident to clarity, the shining forth of clarity itself, that may not be what we want to hear if we want to get rid of afflictive states. However, it is the only way to outshine points of view completely. And uh, these points of view are pretty special. It's kind of an attitude adjustment, really, because we train ourselves to sort our points of view into positive, negative, and neutral categories. And then we dive in. We want to attain more pleasureful, positive points of view and not have negative points of view. And uh, the neutral ones well, they're kind of indifferent, a field of indifference. When we've lived a lifetime being very hard on ourselves, being very critical, self-critical, uh, that can be a point of view too. You know, we're just accustomed to being hard on ourselves, to just raking ourselves over the coals again and again about our emotions and our thoughts, about our sensations, about what we say or do. And this, uh, this brings up a general feeling of unwellness. 
and uh, throughout everything, you know, each here and now can't help it, but have a, a sense of unwellness to it. That doesn't feel very good, does it? Yet, right here, right here, sitting in each chair, or wherever you happen to be, right here, you are the power source of the universe. And this is the truth. Our native condition is spontaneously beneficial. We have learned another way to be just because that's what we needed at the crossroads. We want to belong so much that we adopt the ways of the society around us. However, when we find we have a choice, then we listen. We listen. And the choice, it is so supreme, so reverential of ourselves that that can take a little bit of an adjustment too. Letting all the points of view be as they are allows us to see how well we are. All of the energy we feel in our bodies that we can't help but feel every minute, like right now. If we just stop to feel the energy in our bodies, wow, it's incredible. If we leave it unnamed, untitled, it, it's, it is the, the source of our wellness. All beneficial energy, beneficial energy, totally clean and pure, meaning free of anything of a different kind. That's what pure means, free of anything of a different kind. All the points of view, whatever they are, are the clarity view, which is free of anything of a different kind. Now, just by hanging out with people who are relying on clarity through the four mainstays, it naturally comes about just hanging out. But there are so many instructions and interactions along the way that can be very fruitful if you so choose. And uh, all of those are provided for in balanced view and in great freedom through the four mainstays. If you're looking for some kind of special state to get into, this is not the place. That's what I'd say. Um, the uh, States like not thinking or total stillness, um, these are all points of view. So to look for relief in something that will never give it is, uh, that's a, a mistaken perception. The total relief is in the current point of view, no matter what it is. If your head's going wild with uh, thoughts, if your body hurts, if you have all kinds of emotions, this is it. This is it, the current point of view, right here. Right here. The only evidence there is of you 